So welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're taking a look at the StarkNet airdrop guide. So we want to get our hands on some of these Stark tokens when they are released. They're coming out in 2023 and we want to be getting some of those into our wallet. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. StarkNet is a layer two for Ethereum utilizing ZK rollups. Very fast, very efficient. This is not using Solidity, however. It's not an EVM chain. Instead, they have their own smart contract language called Cairo. Now, you may think to yourself, is that going to be problematic? Most dApps are built in Solidity. How are they going to get over to Cairo here? Well, there is another technology called Warp that allows for builders using Solidity to warp into Cairo. So pretty interesting stuff, a lot of gigabrains behind this. And I do think this could be a very valuable and worthwhile token to get via this airdrop. So that's why we're playing the game today. Now, not only is this a governance token, pretty standard, but it's also going to be the gas token on mainnet somewhere down the line as well. So great token utility. That is something a lot of L2s do not have. Starknet-ecosystem.com is the web page you want to get familiar with. This has all the dApps natively on here, from your swapping protocols to your bridges to your wallets. Everything we need is here. Note you have some that are live on the mainnet here and some that are on a testnet. This could require some testnet tokens. More on that as we progress. But first and foremost, on my left hand side, wallets. You're going to need a brand new wallet for the Starknet blockchain. So the one I'm choosing is called Argent. So Argent is here. It's a very good one. And I've downloaded it here for Chrome. You're going to want to take down your seed phrase very carefully. 12 words, back them up on paper only. Do not have them stored digitally or you will get rugged eventually. Pretty self-explanatory to set up a wallet. You've done this before and then you want to add it to your extensions up the top by here. Of course, it will be empty to start. So the next thing you want to do is go to bridges and then we're going to bridge some funds from mainnet ETH or maybe another network over to Starknet. So the bridge I use is Stark Gate. This one here currently set to mainnet and you're gonna to have to connect both your Ethereum wallet and secondly, your Starknet wallet as well. So pretty simple, your MetaMask for ETH. And then for Starknet, it's going to be that Argent X wallet you've just created. Now the network generally is a little bit buggy. It's still in this kind of alpha phase. So they're trying to iron out some glitches. I've found that some of the dApps I've used have been glitching like crazy. Hashtag is one we're not gonna go over today due to the fact it's glitching like heck on me right now. There's a lot of interesting stuff. I would highly recommend going through the ecosystem and literally doing as much as you possibly can on here, connecting to as many different dApps and utilizing them with a small bit of funds. So what we're gonna do is take some ETH from mainnet using this bridge and sending over to Starknet. Pretty simple stuff. We've got some ETH here on mainnet, send over 0.02 and transfer it over to Starknet. It takes about 10 minutes. And what you can do is go to your Starknet wallet, the Argent X, copy the address, get yourself over to Starkscan, the ether scan of Starknet, insert your address, and then you'll see when that Ethereum does get deposited for you. So once you've bridged some funds over, you've got them in your Argent X wallet, we're gonna look for some DeFi applications and do some swaps. So the main ones we wanna look at are as follows. Jedi Swap, if you notice in the actual Argent wallet itself, just behind my head here, there's a kind of swapping functionality and it says powered by Jedi Swap, which is pretty intriguing to me. So definitely wanna give Jedi Swap a good go. There's a few warnings here, mainnet warning, I understand the risks. Connect up our Argent X wallet here. And then what we can do is swap some of our ETH into a different token here. They've only got stables and wrapped BTC at this moment in time. So just take a small amount. So for example, 0.002 Ethereum into DAI around three bucks worth and do a swap. You're not gonna wanna play with any serious funds on here. A, there's not enough liquidity on most of these DEXs, so slippage would be rather large. And a lot of these have got strict limits in place anyway, so you can't actually move much funds. So they're definitely just wanting you to come and play with these things, and that's all we're doing here. So pretty neat UI, pretty standard stuff, confirm the swap and approve in wallet. So that one is Jedi Swap. This is not very instantaneous like you might get on some other networks. It is a little bit slow. As we mentioned, it is an alpha, but I've not had any problems with transactions failing as such. But onto the next, this one is called My Swap Another swapping protocol. Again, Argent X wallet just connected all up. Again, disclaimers, it is a little bit buggy, laggy. It is in alpha, so you have to click you understand. But as I say, we're not doing much in terms of the amount of funds on here. We're going to move a little bit of ETH on this one once again into some more DAI. Another $3 transaction 
under the belt. This one's actually given me a bit of a failure here. So I'm going to try a different asset, maybe some USDC, see if that one goes through. Does not look like it wants to play ball here. We will come back to this at another date. So maybe I'll sack this one off from the video. We'll move on to the next exchange, which is 10K. Connect up the wallet once more, Argent X. And yet again, try and swap some ETH for DAI. See that this one works. $3.18, we'll confirm that. Network fee around 41 cents here. And I'm going to click approve. I may have just found the solution to my swap as well there. I just might have to wait a bit longer. So that transaction is going to go through here on 10K. So we've gone through three of these swapping protocols here. This one just didn't work. But let's give it another bash here. ETH to die. Click swap. And we're going to wait for this transaction error issue to work through. Okay, it's worked straight away this time. So I'll leave all these things in. I'm not going to edit anything out here just to show you what it's like to actually work on something in alpha. A little bit buggy. Maybe you've got to refresh things a few times. I had endless trouble with one of the faucets we're about to go on to, but I kept button bashing, refreshing previously, and eventually it did work. So it just looks like you've got to be a bit patient with this and let it do its own thing in its own time. So the state of play here, three DEXs down, three $3 transactions, ETH into DAI. I've got nine DAI in the wallet at this point. So that's pretty much the wallet done, bridge done, three DEXs. I do want to do NFTs as well. As we've seen, NFT airdrops from marketplaces are a big thing on other networks. So why not here on StarkNet at some point in the future? There's two to look at. Aspect, which definitely needs a dark mode because my eyes are hurting at this point. And also this one, Mint Square, bit of a better UI. And I'm just going to go ahead and buy a Stark Punk here. It was a free to mint, but the floor price is currently around 0.008. Eight Ethereum. Uh, there's some pretty cool ones on here. So I'm just going to buy one that I like the look of. I like this guy here with the 3D glasses. It's going to cost me 15 bucks for this bad boy, but I'm going to make a purchase here and join the NFT collective on StarkNet as an early adopter. So click purchase on this punk. Going to be patient this time and wait for the transaction to actually come up with a cost for me. Seems to take about 30 seconds for it to come up with a network fee, but then I'm going to make the purchase by clicking approve there. This is Stark Scan as it's processing my NFT purchase. You can see it does take a little bit of time on here, but this will go through in just a sec. There we go, congrats. And I would probably go ahead and maybe sweep a couple of these. You never know what their value could be in the future. But also I would like to list it for sale as well. Trying to get some more brownie points over on this marketplace. So we'll move on to the next protocol here, which is called Nostra. This is essentially the Aave on StarkNet. So a slightly different type of DeFi here. You can see previously I've actually put some ETH in here to lend. And I'm going to get a nice juicy APY of 0.02%. But you want to connect your wallet as normal. Then if you've got some ETH on here, you could come into the ETH section, deposit some Ethereum. There's a few boxes you can tick as well. You can enable to lend and you can also enable it to be used as collateral as well. So I could actually take some dollars out on the flip side to this. As you can see, we're in alpha at this moment in time and there is a deposit limit of 0.004 Ethereum. So very tight limits as I previously mentioned, but just go ahead and utilize this, do a few transactions on here. And what we're doing with this is not only using StarkNet, the actual blockchain itself to get the Stark token airdrop, but a load of these protocols are also going to have airdrops as well. Most of them have investors and no token out as yet. How do they accrue value to investors over time? We know the playbook, they're going to drop a token. Now moving on, for anything on Testnet, so back on the ecosystem page, if anything's in Testnet, for example, this one's in Testnet, this one over here, Brian Finance is also in Testnet. We're actually going to use that in just a second. You're going to need some Testnet ETH. So to get Testnet ETH, you can't use your Argent X wallet directly. This is going to require you to use MetaMask. I don't know why the Argent wallet doesn't work, but it doesn't. And so what you would do is put your MetaMask address in for Goalie Testnet. It's just going to be your main wallet address here. Copy it, paste it in here, and it will send you 0.2 Goalie ETH. Once you've done that, go to Startgate once again, go to Gurley, and we're going to move it from our ETH, our MetaMask, over to the StarkNet Argent X wallet. Now, it's also worth pointing out some of these websites are only interacting with MetaMask. I think Brian is one of those. Sign into Brian via MetaMask there, whereas the other one we want to use that is on Testnet is StarkNet ID, similar to ENS on Mainnet. But this one, you need to use the StarkNet wallet, the Argent X. So as you can see here, you're going to want some Gurley ETH on your MetaMask. MetaMask and also on the Starknet Argent wallet as well. A little bit complex, but nothing we can't get our heads around. 
So we've done this, we've got 0.2 ETH from the force. It has just been sent over to our MetaMask account. If you can't see the girly test net on your MetaMask, go to MetaMask, drop down to settings here and then advanced, go down to this button down here, which says show test networks. And then from here, you'll be able to see girly is down the bottom. Then we just connect our wallets. I need to set girly on MetaMask here real quick as so. And then StarkNet wallet Argent X set it as girly in argent x you do that by clicking on argent and switching this from mainnet over to testnet then simply you would just move some of this 0.2 eth from your metamask account over to your starknet wallet note you can claim 0.2 girly testnet eth per day so we're going to sign into brian finance here another one i think is pretty interesting you have to toggle a message to say you are human and sign now this one is an order book based Dex. This means you have to deposit funds into this. This is still on chain, but there's a little bit of additional smart contract risk in my view. You would then go to deposit. Click here to deposit an asset if we got some ETH. So I still got 0.19 ETH on that MetaMask wallet. So I could deposit as much as I wish, maybe just quarter. Click deposit and then confirm the transaction. Just wait for this to actually confirm over on Brian here. I do think, again, this one is very, very likely to have a token in the future. So you want to be playing out with this during the testnet phase. And once this is done, it says successful, we're going over to trade. So the trade button is on the left-hand side here. The market it goes to as default is BCC USD, but we just deposited some ETH. It does take a little while to actually deposit on here and update your balance. As you can see, I've got 0 0.0475 ETH on here. To do a limit order, you would select limit from the list. I've got a limit sell on here for ETH already, but this time I'm gonna do a market order. I've seen with some other airdrops, they were given an airdrop for people who had been market making versus people who were takers or people who have done market orders. So I wanna do a little bit of both. I'm I'm going to sell the remainder of my ethereum here at the current market price and click the sell button and as you can see that's now updated with 74 dollars and 78 cents this is testnet so i'm not actually making some money here but that was brian we'll move on to the final piece of the puzzle here starknet id ENS was a big eye-opener for me. The airdrop was rather big and it's actually doing really well as well. So that is Ethereum name service. On here we have Starknet IDs, a dot .stark address you can get for yourself. So we're going to jump into launch the app, connect our wallets, Argent X here as normal. Need to just switch it back over to the testnet. So I just flicked this over to testnet. I've already created cryptotube.stark here to create your own Stark domain name. Go to here, domains, and then type in whatever you want. Maybe we can nab nba.stark. You can select for how long you actually want to own this, maybe just one year, lower price then, and then register this on the L2 Starknet environment. It does also say you can connect to the L1 as well, so the mainnet is also highly likely to be either ready or just about to be ready here. It wasn't working for me earlier. I will try this out after this video, but you create your domain, register it for L2, and then under your identities tab, you will have it showing there. And then you can use this as your identity online and people can easily send you funds direct to cryptotube.stark so essentially my way of thinking is we go through as many of these dApps as possible try and find out ones that have not got a token but potentially do have one coming up twitter discord those kind of things are good to find that information and then play with as much as possible as frequently as you can afford to do just small chunks of change nothing major and getting busy on the network that is all it's about and that is what the team want you to do they want you to try and click around to try and break things and they will reward you with tokens for participating in the network overall so i hope you found this one interesting if you did drop me a comment down below make sure you subscribe to the channel for more of these and i'll see you in the next one goodbye